Hey everyone, welcome to our PAL World Survival Guide. We're talking about early game mounts today because honestly at some point you're going to, potentially anyway, get a little tired walking around on your own two feet, you know? It's not always the, the fastest way and if you want to get up like a mountain you only have so much stamina. So mounts can certainly make navigating the map a lot easier. And, you know, obviously as you progress in the game there are better mounts, but if you're looking, you know, if you're just starting out or whatever... Uh, there are a few pals out there that actually are pretty decent mounts for, for, you know, being so, you know, early in the game. And by early game, I'm talking about levels, like, 1 to 15. Like, after you get past level 15, you get into more, like, the advanced, like, mid-tier pals, I would say. So, this is very much just looking at the, the early game. And we'll have, like, another little mount video about those who are more like the the mid-range later on down the line but let's take care of the beginners first right so uh one of the i think one of the best pals in terms of speed is the dire howl and i think i i should have all my guys here and this is the uh this is our friend right here the dire howl and if we quick look at his pal deck we can find him there you are uh, so the Dire Howl, it says right here that uh, it moves slightly faster than most mounts. And that's why I think this one is particularly good uh, at, uh, you know, being just like you're kind of like your general navigator. Uh, if you only get one mount uh, and you don't really care about flying or anything, you just want to go on the ground, the Dire Howl is definitely the mount for you. And, you know, they're, they're all throughout the starting area, so they're pretty easy to find. They're not, like, the worst pals to fight either. Obviously, in a pack, they can be a little bit more difficult. So, if you have, like, a pal or two um, in your party, you know, you, you can subdue these guys pretty okay. Pretty easily, I'd say. Um, and then, you just have to make the Dire Howl Saddle, which we'll get into, right? Where are you at here? There you are. Uh, at level 9, so again, it's not too crazy uh, from the, the very beginning here. Uh, and uh, to make this, you'll need to make it in the uh, the PAL workbench. And it requires 10 leather, 20 wood, 15 fiber, and 10 palladium fragments. So you just make that in there. And then, uh, you know, you throw your dire wolf, your dire wolf, your dire owl out. And, oh my goodness, what is going on over here? And silly, silly thugs, uh, you are able to basically uh, mount your, your dire wolf. This is what its speed is like uh, just normally. Now, if I was to run, we're going even faster. And this is uh, considerably, you know, faster than a lot of the other ground mounts. Uh, even some of, like, the, the mid-tier ground mounts aren't quite as fast as the dire howl. So if you want to get around fast, this is the guy for you, I'd say. So let's quick get off him. No, no, don't start fights now. Goodness gracious. Now, uh, if you are more of a, I want to jump around, I want to, you know, climb up mountains with ease, then uh, you might want the Ekthirdir instead. Uh, these guys, stop f starting fights, y'all. <laughs> uh, if we look at the, the, the pal deck for these guys, there we go, we can see obviously it can be ridden. And it, uh, it's kind of like claim to fame, if you will, is that it can uh, perform a double jump while mounted. So uh, that's pretty awesome. We'll throw it out and we're going to try and keep it from getting into fights, you crazy. Oh my goodness, look at that. What did that even do to you? So uh, this is what it talks about in timers with like a double jump. So it basically, it's not as good as like definitely you, like your expert uh, tier jumpers but like i said we're, this is early game so this guy can kind of like help you up some of like the the the, uh, the beginner mountains and at the very least and honestly these guys aren't that bad uh, of fighters either they have quite a few moves that they can do so they're not that bad for like defense and stuff but you can kind of see like even just kind of moving this isn't quite as fast as like the dire howl like even running really not boosting quite so uh fast so this is definitely more of a if you need to if you want to jump around uh, and get up mountains that way, that's the way to go. So that is our, our friend, the, the Ichthyr. Uh, and to make this guy's saddle, just additionally as well, you're going to have to scroll down a little bit here. This one gets unlocked at level 12, and it requires 5 leather, 20 fiber, 10 ingots, 3 horns, and then 15 palladium fragments. And funny enough, you can get these horns from these guys. So, you know, go hunting for your Ichthyr, kill its mate or whatever. And uh, grab its horns. So uh, that is that guy. 
go away. Everybody's so aggressive. Now, I know obviously there are going to be some of you out there who prefer flying, and flying is definitely, um, you know, a very easy way to maneuver around the map. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, going up mountains or anything like that. You can just fly up. And that kind of also kind of goes uh, in tandem with how much stamina you have. Obviously, the more stamina that you have, the higher, the, the longer you can fly, which means the higher you can fly until you obviously reach the ceiling. But uh, let's go ahead and get our friend the Nightwing out. That is who we have. Best early game flyer is Nightwing. And that is because this guy... He comes uh, right up his little saddle, right here at level 15, right at that cap of when we are pushing from early game to, like, more advanced game. So this is the only flyer, granted, but he's pretty decent. Uh, so at level 15, to unlock this saddle, he, you know, this is, this is we're going to do it. And then it, to make his saddle, you will need 20 leather, 10 cloth, 15 ingots, 20 fiber, and 20 paldium fragments and then if we can find this guy oh he's right there uh this and pretty easy pretty basic you, you know can be written as a flying mount and that's really like the claim to fame here is that like he really is just an early game flyer he's not going to be your best flyer there are definitely a bunch of other flyers out there that are better but uh for beginners this is the guy to get he's a bit uh hard to take down especially like early games um stats and and pal wise you might have a little bit of difficulty taking him down so i definitely recommend if you can try and kite this to your base so you can get all of your pals working him down especially if it's a higher level uh and then just be try to throw your your sphere as fast as you can when he's down low um but yeah definitely uh your 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 uh your beginner flyer here and obviously the the kind of goal the kind of thing to keep in mind is that if you do plan on doing a lot of flying just make sure you increase your stamina a lot because that's what flying is based off of. Um, he can hover, but he can't fly without stamina. So we're just going to go back down here. And you can also see that he's, like, not that fast either. Like, this is as fast as he goes, which isn't terrible. But, you know, again, not quite up to the, the diehard speed, in my opinion. So let's get off him. And then our, uh, our next bount is best for utility. And what I mean by that is, like, basically a mount that... Uh, it's good to get work done, right? This isn't a mount that you're usually to, like, navigate the map. It's more of a mount that, you know, you get a use out of. And that, of course, is the Rushor. There you are, buddy. Um, so the Rushor is primarily good at, like, getting uh, stone from boulders. And if we could go check his uh, pal deck, actually. Scroll up here. There, there you are. Uh, can be ridden. It increases efficiency of destroying boulders while mounted. So basically, while you're on this guy, you can come across like a like a boulder of some sort, and he will go to town on it. And you know he'll be he'll be dropping uh, the stone a little bit faster. So if you like, just be like, boom, do your thing. Uh, boom. Not much, not much like that. Like we got 58 stone from hitting two rocks. That's pretty amazing. Uh, so that's kind of like his thing. So if you got, you know, if you if you don't have like a the stone mine up yet, you know, this guy he can take care of your needs real fast. And rushors are definitely like very early game uh, pals. If we look at our technology here, you only need to be level six to get the saddle here, uh, and it just requires three leather, ten stone, and five palladium fragments. So very, very, very early game, but like I definitely think he's really great at just you know taking care of some of the the the, uh, the more mundane tasks uh, to get done. And you know what, he can you know, he can hold his own against some of these little beginner pals. So you know he'll uh, take care of you for the most part too. And he's kind of tanky in a way too, which makes sense because he's you know supposed to can be bored like I would say. So he'll last you a little bit at least in, with these with these beginner pals. So I'm a big fan of the Rushor. Um, I think they're very uh they're very helpful. Now, our last early game mount uh, is kind of like the one that uh, I would personally use if I was going to go rampaging around uh, your, your attacker, your defender, and that is the Chillet. And the reason why I like the Chillet, no, Chillet, I didn't say you could actually start, okay, well, go finish what you started. Uh, the reason why I like the Chillet is because, uh, surprisingly enough, it's actually technically an early game mount. Uh, if we go to our technology... The saddle for this guy is just uh, just a little after the Ecthyr Deer, but before the Nightwing even, at level 13. So uh, to make the saddle for the Chillet, you'll need 10 leather, 20 fiber, 5 cloth, and then 20 Paldium fragments. And then we also just check 
our friend here. He's just going to town in the background. Goodness gracious. There we are. Uh, so he can be ridden and applies dragon damage to the player's attacks while mounted. So that's a little extra thing that he can do. And we'll click get on him. Oh, there we go. And honestly, riding him just looks hilarious. It just, I just find it really funny. So basically, if we were to take like out our crossbow or something, like we can fire off the back of this guy, which makes him really nice because we can, you know, while he's like, we can do a quick attack with him, but also attack, you know, as ourselves. Uh, but our attacks are actually going to be doing dragon damage, which if we go to our friendly survival guide, where do you, there you are. Uh, that means we're going to be strong against any dark type. So that taking this guy out during the night uh, to take, you know, to take down some dark type uh, pals, you know, that's a great strategy. And the other thing that I like about this guy is that he, this is actually the boss version of the, the Chillit. And the Chillit uh, boss, anyway, is one of like the very first bosses that um, early game uh, tamers can go up against and have some success against and I do have a video on that if you haven't attempted the chillet boss guide yet it kind of goes it just kind of shows like how basic you can get how early you can fight him and I'm sure there are others who have fought him even earlier than you know my level so uh, you can get the boss type of chillet which means he's gonna be a little bit stronger than like the basic type right off the not right off the bat but like not too far like a, you know a few days into the game and so now you have this boss type that you can, you know, ride around. He's not fast. You know, he's okay. He's like, this is as fast as he can go. Like, he's not terrible. But he's primarily, like, pretty decent at fighting. And he has, like, a decent amount of health, too. Uh, but this guy will, you know, because he, he can... Because he's both an ice type and a dragon type, he's got like two different kinds of pals that he's really powerful against. So that just kind of makes you a little bit safer, in my opinion. So I love this guy for, you know, just running around and, and if I need to go collect some type of like like pal fluids or something, for example, I'll take him out and we'll go, you know, we'll do a little bit of farming for that. Um, but yeah, so that is uh, basically my idea of, you know, the top early game mounts uh, in pal world. If you guys have other, and again, we're looking at like the... Level 1 to 15 is kind of beginner level here. So if you guys uh, have other ideas, do let me know. Uh, and if you have a preferred one on the list here, let me know what it is. I'm curious. But thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep surviving and keep thriving.